Hello there, and welcome back. Continuing on from our previous video. I'll work on the long sleeve top clothing base created for the Daz 3D Genesis 8 male figure. In this video, we will look at the problem with the UV map that we created for the clothing mesh with ZBrush in our previous session. And how to fix it. I will also demonstrate how I save the UV template of the mesh that we use for texturing from ZBrush in the process. Let's get started. We will once again begin by loading the development version of Genesis 8 Mail into DAS Studio. Next, we will load the clothing top that we created in our previous video. Let's take a look at the UV map we created using ZBrush again. Select the G8M top base. Then set the viewport to UV view. To see the UVs, select view by nodes. As I mentioned in the previous video, this UV map created in ZBrush has a problem. Let's see what will happen when we create a texture map from this UV. Set the viewport back to perspective. Make sure Genesis 8 Mail is selected. Click on the GoZ icon to export it in the clothing top to ZBrush. Leave the options alone and click Accept. On the canvas area, click and drag to load the meshes. Be sure to click on Edit button so we can edit the meshes. Click twice on the frame button to fit the top to the canvas. Click on Draw Polyframe. Notice there are no polygroups on the clothing mesh. Do not panic. Just click on Auto Groups with UV. The color of the polygroups are too similar for the body and the collar. Click on the Auto Groups with UV once more. Much better now. Let's double check on the UV. But notice the flatten button is grayed out. Do not click Unwrap. Just click on Polygroup. The flatten button will be available now. Click on it. This is the exact UV that we created last time. Click and flatten. Locate the Texture Map tab under the Tools panel. Click on Create. Now, click on New from UV Check. The image for the template is created. However, we cannot find the created map in the texture window. This is because we will need to clone the created texture in order to export it. Click on Clone Texture. Now we will be able to find the clone template in the texture window. Click Export. Navigate to the folder where you want to save the texture. I have created a copy of the same template before. We will just overwrite it. A window will open for you to final check the map before exporting. Just click OK. Go back to Daz Studio now. Zoom in on the clothing top. Before this, I created a texture with the same template that we just exported. Now let's load this onto our clothing top and see what happens. Click on the arrow icon next to the base color. Locate the texture we want to load, then click on Open. Let's have a look. This is not good. The texture images are reversed. Do take note. If we bring in the UVs directly from ZBrush following the remapping, the UVs will be flipped, which means any textures we create using this map will be flipped horizontally. There is, however, an easy fix for it. Let's send the meshes to ZBrush once again. Click on the Flatten button to flatten the mesh. Hide the G8M figure so that it is easier for us to work on the UV. The problem can be easily fixed by flipping the UV using the Flip U function. It can be found under the UV Map panel but we will need to unflatten the mesh first in order for it to work. Click on Flip U. Let's flatten the mesh again to check. The UV is now flipped. It is possible that some of you do not like the layout and would like to rearrange it. We'll see how we can do that right now. Click on the Move icon next to the Draw button. A navigation gizmo will appear. Holding both the Control and Shift keys at the same time, click on the mesh we wish to move. We may now move the mesh around using the gizmo. 
Repeat the same steps to move the rest of the meshes. Once you are satisfied with the layout, click on the draw button and click and drag on the empty area to unmask the mesh. Let's go back to scale down the UV slightly. Okay, I am happy with this for now, we'll unflatten the mesh now. Turn on texture from the texture map panel. The old texture template does not work anymore. We'll need to create a new template for this new UV map. Click on New from UV Check. A new texture template is created based on the new UVs. Do not forget to clone the texture before we can export it as our template. With the texture cloned, we may now export the new template. Make sure the correct map is selected. Turn off the texture before we export it back to DAS Studio. Select Update Base Mesh and Update UV. Click Accept. We will check if the mesh has been updated with the new UV. I have already created a texture map using the new template in advance. We will now apply it to the mesh to test the new UV. Awesome. We have fixed the UV. Well, that's how we can flip the UV map and save the texture template from ZBrush. In my next video, we will explore how we can assign different material zones or surfaces to clothing meshes within DAS Studio. Please hit the like button below if you enjoy this video. It will really help me a lot. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.